हेलो सभा जी गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू हाउ आर यू टुडे फाइन सर गुड उसमें टक्की प्लस से कैंसिल पट्टी या बटन पट्टी दोनों में पेस्टिंग है प्लस कॉलर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी गुड इवनिंग सो वॉट आर वी गन डू सर यू डिडेंट सेंड द क्लास रिकॉर्डिंग डिंट आई यस सर oh because the recording broke into two parts and that's why did i teach something important yesterday something that you need revision for we didn't no, sir i have not completed my class because oh, of data you you left you left in the middle i remember okay okay yes hmm okay so today we are going to read the text about the man who lived a long life the secret to a long life the secret to a happy married life is good only evening, one sir. good evening What is the secret to a happy married life? Always silent in front of your wife. Yes, to lose your tongue, right? To lose your ability to speak. If you can sacrifice, uh, you know, your desire to speak against your wife, you know, then you are always going to be ha happy. Sir, what is, uh, are uh -huh. your eyes slow in? Ah, uh, come again, sir. Are your eyes uh, slow in? Are you guys? Your eyes. My eyes are swollen. Sorry, I don't know. Maybe I've been looking at the screen regularly. That's why. But I don't have any discomfort at the moment. Not any particular discomfort. okay let's read the text my grandfather's fish and chip shop my grandfather's shop my grandfather's shop my grandfather's shop let's read we will have some most basic and standing of hello sunita and uh, um my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old I was, yesterday there was a little bit of a confusion here there was a little bit of a confusion here uh is simran here yes Sim yes that i did say the good evening but you didn't listen don't worry i sometimes ah listen uh it Sir, is i did say or i said uh the no that was more emphatic bole to the aapko lekin aap sunve nahi ki that is how she said that i did say that but you didn't listen so did say is also correct this is emphatic okay i said is correct i said is correct but she said sir i did say that did, did, did said nahi did say did say okay good point if she said did said then that's wrong did say i did say did say okay 
I did say. Good afternoon. Wow, Arish. Clean seven. Look, huh? <laughs> okay. And I didn't have to ask him to be on camera today. <laughs> He's on camera. He's clean He's every day on camera, sir. Uh, I'm on camera. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> okay. Um, I my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old. Okay, it means he died when he was 101 years old. We do we will not say he died when he was 102 years old. Okay, that is the thing I wanted to tell Simran. Yes. So we use this until, yeah, my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old. So he died when he was 101. Okay. So ek saal ki umar tak jiye. Okay. So if he had touched 102, we would call him 102 years old, right? But now he died when he was 101 years old. At what age did he die? He was 101 years old. One. Guys, I am 44 years old and uh, 44 years and uh, July to September, uh, two months, okay? Uh, 44 years and two months old, okay? So I'm not 45 yet, right? I'm 44 years and two months old. So if, uh, I don't want to die now, but just, you know, to understand the sentence, if I die now, what would you say? I died at age 44, not at 45, right? So his- You live um, until 44 years. Yeah. However, people won't use this sentence, you know, because <laughs> 44 is not a long time. Do you understand that? This structure, my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old, highlights that he lived a long time. Okay, a long life. Guys, so if somebody dies at 44, you are not going to use this sentence. Oh, he lived until he was 44. <laughs> what a big deal. 44 is not very old. So instead, you will say he died when he was only 44 instead, right? So please understand these things, Sumit. I hope you got the point. Yes, sir. He was a shopkeeper. He had a fish and chip shop. He was a shopkeeper. He had a fish and chip shop in an old village near a big industrial town. Near a big industrial town in the north of England. In the north of England. Yeah. He had a fish and chip shop in an old village, in an old village near a big industrial town in the north of England. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. So this person is talking about his or her maternal grandfather. Nanaji. Nanaji. Okay. Because the daughter is my mother. My mother. Read this line. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. Yes, the person is talking about Nanaji, maternal grandfather. The family lived above the shop. Which shop? Uh, the shop, uh, shop? Which, in which it uh, sold fish and chip. Yes. Um, the family lived above the shop. Niche dukan upar makan. Right, guys? The family lived above the shop. I think it is the best, best you know, uh, arrangement when the, sh you know, the shop is downstairs and you live upstairs. Or yeah, the other way around is also fine. In my case, we live downstairs and teach upstairs, so uh, you don't have to travel very far to work. Some people, you know, lose a lot of part of their life just traveling to and from work. I sympathize with them so much. You know, it is such a colossal loss of you know. I will say time and life, you know, very, very bad. It's a meaningless way to live. You just keep traveling to and from work, two hours, three hours every day. Oh, what wouldn't money make you do, huh? Okay. The family lived above the shop. In those days, fish and chips was the most popular dish in the whole country. In those days, Fish and chips was the most popular dish. Hey, guys. 
fish and chips as singular or plural? Fish and chips was. Sir, fish and chips together they are similar. So depends on the idea. If I write there any two other nouns, okay. For example, if I say boys and girls, can I say was? No. 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 What? No. No. Of course not. If I say pen, pens and pencils, no. No. So some ideas, you know, they represent one thing: fish and chips as a dish. One dish, okay? Fish and chips. It refers to a dish. Yes, fish is a different noun. Chips is a different noun. But fish and chips refers to one noun, one dish. And that's why in those days, fish and chips was the most popular dish in the whole country. Which country? In North India. Uh, England. England. In the whole country. My grandfather made the best fish. He made best fish. the best fish and chips. The best fish and chips. Fish and chips. Best fish and chips. My grandfather made the best fish and chips in the area. People came to the village. People came to the village. Which village? Uh, in which uh, oh, their shop was. His shop was. Yes, where they lived. Where they had the shop. People came to the village by bus. People came to the village by bus. Especially to get them. Get, the, get them. Them refers to? Chips and fish. Fish and, fish. Fish fish and, and chips. Fish and chips. Yeah. Fish and chips. And today, Sakib is not here. Come sit. Everybody loved my grandfather. Everybody loved my loved. grandfather. Everybody loved my grandfather. Because he was such a happy and contented man. Because he was such a happy and contented man. A contented person doesn't complain about things he or she doesn't have. If you are contented, then you are happy with what you have. Yes, you want to have more, but you don't complain about what you don't have. You have the drive to go for, forward, to make progress in life. But contented only means that you are not complaining in a negative way. Some people are always whining, always complaining. Oh, I don't have this. I don't have that. This is a pathetic life. No, they are not contented. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to be like that. You know. Ruksar, are you a contented woman? Are you grateful for what you have? Are you thankful for what you have? Do you say Allah ka shukra hai, mere paas ye hai, wo hai? Or you always come, I don't have this, I don't have that. You are a contented woman. Okay. Yeah, I am contented woman. Contented. A contented woman. Contented. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Such a happy and contented man. He worked hard. But once a week, how often? Once a week, not twice a week. Once a week. He worked hard, once. but once a week, he closed the shop. You know why I do not teach on Sundays? <laughs> but now I have the international intermediate class on Sundays. Okay. Once a week, he closed the shop. And when to have lunch? When to have? Not lunch. fish and chips. Not fish and chips. Okay. When to have what? When to have lunch with friends in the local pub. With friends in the local pub. Which pub? The local pub. The local pub. He didn't retire until he was 78 years old. He retired early or he retired late according to the person who is writing. According to the person late. who is writing... He retired early or he retired late or he, he doesn't, doesn't say anything about it. I think he retired late. He retired retired early. Early. The person who is writing this, okay, the grandson of or the granddaughter of this ma old man, he or she wants to say that he retired late. He didn't retire until he was 78 years old. This sentence, this uh, pattern is preferred when you want to say something happened late. 
So this person wants to emphasize that he retired late. Normally, people retire at age 60, 62, 65, but he didn't retire until he was 78. In most government jobs, you know, you retire by the age of 60, 62, 65, depending on the kind of job, you see? Yeah. He said that the secret to a long life, the secret to a long a life, long life was the secret a to a long life was a glass of whiskey <laughs> before, before going, to, going bed. to bed. Before going to bed. Going to bed. Before going to bed. And lots of fish and chips. Now, fish and chips are fried food. And science today says that if any oil has been used more than thrice to fry something, you know, then now that 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 uh, oil is, I think, twice more likely, you know, uh, to give you, um, you know, cancer, actually, or maybe more. I actually there was an there was a video about it that all those people who are eating, you know, food fried food from the market from the shops, the store bought fried food. And any oil that has been used for more than twice or thrice is very bad for your health. And these restaurant wallas, they confessed, restaurant owners, they confessed that they use the same oil to fry 30 times, 20 times. Imagine. And in the video, they showed the kind of dirt there was, you know, stuck on the side of the pans, frying pans. Okay. So, yes, it, it looks like really mud. It looks like mud, okay? Really awful. The kind of oil and sticky substance that you get from your uh, exhaust fan in the kitchen or the chimney in the kitchen, that kind of thing is there in the pan. And people are still eating from the same pan, fry, food fried in the same pan. After watching that video, I was put off all the fried food from the shops, actually, you know. Even in my house, I will suggest, uh, I have told my, my, you know, the ladies in the house that please don't use the same oil for frying something twice or thrice. So fried food is really bad for your health, whether it is fish and chips or McDonald's or whatever. Fried food is not good for you. The best food that you can eat is steamed. Okay, there you go. See, these are, you know, modern frying equipments, pans and in a different shape. And they use the same oil for seven days, 10 days. And each day they fry 15, 20 batches. Okay. And they continue for seven days, 10 days. Imagine how bad it is for your health. By the way, grandpa was absolutely wrong. The secret to a long life was is never a glass of whiskey before going to bed and lots of fish and chips. He lived a long life, in my opinion, just because he had the right genes, you know. It was in his genes to live a long life. That's it. Otherwise, he tried from his side everything to, you know, live a bad life, actually, you know, bad quality of life. But he was just lucky. He was just lucky. I have a friend, Gyan Prakash. Um, I'm pretty sure he smokes. He drinks. But he's a stronger than me. He's my age, but he's stronger than me. He's fitter, stronger. It is just in his genes. His body is like that. He's, he has always been that way. He's just lucky, you know. He doesn't do any exercise. He doesn't go to the gym. He never joined a gym, but he's still fitter. Like Dhoni, you see? Dhoni was always fit, you know. He ran faster than most other batsmen. He didn't go to the gym. He never had the gym body, you know, like Shreya Sayer and other guys. He's just naturally... Uh, you know, an athletic person, naturally strong. So some people are just plain lucky. That's it. Now, after reading the story, we did the question answers yesterday, didn't we? And the grandfather lived uh, until he was 101. He lived in a small village. He lived in a, in an old village, not a small village. He lived in old village near a big industrial town, okay? What kind of shop did he have? He had a fish and chip shop. And how many children did he have? He had two children, a son and a daughter. And the daughter 
is uh, the mother of the person who is writing, okay? Mm. Why did everybody love him? Because he was a happy and contented man. And when did he stop work? Uh, he stopped work he, when he was 78 years old, or he didn't stop work until he was 78 years old. What was his secret to a long life? Well, his secret, and his should be emphasized here, his secret, not a real secret. According to him, the secret to a long life was a glass of whiskey before going to bed and lots of fish and chips. And uh, I totally disagree with him. This kind of lifestyle can make your life quality bad. Okay, grammar spot. Find examples of the definite article, definite and indefinite. There are two types of articles, guys. And try and understand why we call them definite and why we call them indefinite. So there are two types of articles. One type is called definite article. There is only one option, the. And the other, op the other article is indefinite article. There are two options there, A and N. So indefinite and definite, definite, certain, fixed, definite, okay? I will pay you back, but I'm not giving you a definite day or time. So any day, any time, okay? I'm not giving you a definite day. But if I give you a definite day on this day, at definite time, at this time, I'll pay you. Understand? So definite, everybody understands the word definite and indefinite. So when we say, talk about indefinite ideas, you know, A and, for example, I am a teacher. I live in a town. Now, when I say a town, which town? Any town? I live in a town. Okay. So the point is A and N are indefinite articles. But when I say the town where Gandhiji was born, the town where Gandhiji was born. Now, am I talking about any town or a definite town? So a that's why the article town. the is there. The town where Gandhiji was born. So, first of all, understand the meaning of this definite and indefinite. Once you understand this, you know, why these names have been given, you know, Maybe it will be a little easier for you to understand. Uh, do we have a bottle of water? Pass that. Feeling a little thirsty. Okay, point number two. Too long. Come again, come again. You speak too loud. I'm speaking too loudly. I'm speaking too loudly, right? happens sometimes you know okay guys you have to find examples did you find examples of the two different articles definite articles and indefinite articles in your book use a highlighter or a pencil or anything you want to circle or underline or highlight what we are talking about indefinite articles use two different colors of highlighters highlighters of different two different colors i mean uh, and uh, just, uh, you know, choose, uh, use one color for the indefinite, you know, articles and one for the definite articles. And Indian students I... remember. Indian students remember, articles don't exist in Hindi. Okay, we do not have this concept of articles in Hindi, so it is a purely English concept. You know, here you have nothing in, in Hindi that you can compare it to. So you'll have to just learn it in English. Somebody was saying something.
Oh. Question number one. Articles are used before uh, noun. Before nouns. Articles before are noun. used before nouns. nouns. Yeah. Or sometimes before adjectives if there is a noun after that adjective. He is a tall boy. Article A is before tall because there is a noun after that tall. But if you remove that boy, he is tall. So articles are used before nouns or sometimes before adjectives if there are nouns after those adjectives. Point number one clear. Articles are used before nouns. Before nouns. Now, point number two. What do you notice about these phrases? came by bus, went to have lunch before going to bed. So, no articles here. Can you see? By bus, no articles. Have lunch, no articles. And to bed, no articles. So, there are some uh, nouns, some phrases, fixed phrases, where we do not use articles. By bus, have lunch, to bed, in bed. So you read a lot of these fixed phrases where we don't use articles. Now let's go to page number 146 and see what we have. Grammar rules about articles. Um, you guys will feel that you already know all these things, okay? Because practically, you have been given exposure to all these rules in your course before, the elementary course and the course that you're doing in the previous text. Let's see. Point number one, the definite article A, sorry, the indefinite article A or an, I will not read it as a, I will read it as a. a. The indefinite article A and an is used with singular countable nouns. Remember this. Don't use A or an with plural nouns. Don't use A or an with uncountable nouns because A or an is used with singular countable, countable nouns. Noun. To refer to a thing or an idea for the first time. We have a cat and a dog. We have a cat and a dog. There is a supermarket in Adam Street. There is a supermarket in Adam Street. Notice when I used, when I pronounced this here, I said A. But here I'm pronouncing there is a supermarket in Adam Street. I said we have a cat and a dog. So the, this has two pronunciations. A is the strong pronunciation and the weak pronunciation that you normally use in the sentences. And we have a cat and a dog. There is a supermarket in Adams Street. Adams Street, okay. Um, guys, we use a before um, singular countable oh. nouns to refer to an idea for the first time. Not for the second time, okay? For the first time. First time. The, in, the definite article the is used with all kinds of nouns. Forget about no category, singular, plural, countable, uncountable, all of them. 
interesting part and simple part, okay? That the is used with all, everything. The can be used with all. A or an can only be used with singular and countable nouns. On the other hand, the can be used with all kinds of nouns. You know, they can, the can be used with singular, plural, countable, uncountable, okay. But here the condition is, both the speaker and the listener know the thing or the idea already. The speaker and the listener both know the person, the thing, the idea already. The students left the class and said to each other, the teacher has gone crazy. Now, which teacher are they talking about? Which both of the students know already. Perhaps the teacher they just finished studying with. I said the lesson yeah. is over and they're leaving the class and they're saying to each other, the teacher has gone crazy. So one person says the teacher has gone crazy. The other understands. He's talking about the teacher. They yeah, were just uh, studying, okay? They just finished studying with, okay? Got it, guys? Yes, sir. You guys are sitting here and I say, hey, let's turn off the fan. Let's turn off the so you will know which fan. There are billions of fans in the world, okay? But you're not concerned about them. You will know which fan I mean. So I said, hey, let's turn off the... So when the speaker and the listener both know the thing, the idea already, then which article is used? The. Okay? And when we say the, not the, we say the normally, okay? However, mm -hmm. you know, the... Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the article T H E has three different pronunciations. It has three different three pronunciations. pronunciations. Yeah, one is the, yeah. the other is the, and the other is the, the. Okay, and the there is the, the, the. Okay, the is the strong pronunciation, just like a, and there are two weak pronunciations, the and the, the and the. But there is a strong pronunciation, the. Okay. When I say in the evening, in the evening, I'm not saying in the evening. I'm not saying in the evening. I'm using a weak pronunciation. But there are two weak pronunciations. The and the. We'll talk about them. Don't worry. So let's understand the most basic ideas. A is used, A or an is used with singular countable nouns only. The can be used with all kinds of nouns. Singular, plural, countable, uncountable. The condition is only one. The speaker and the listener both know that noun, that thing, that idea already. So the will be used. So these are the two most important basic points. Okay. And after this, we have a few rules that we can take care of. Okay. Let's see. The indefinite article is used with professions. Tell me that you are already familiar with this or not. I'm a teacher. She's an architect. She's a housewife. I'm a student. Don't you say these things? So we always use a or an with professions, guys. Are you studying this rule for the first time today? Or you already have been following this rule, implementing this rule in your English? Applying this rule, I mean. Yeah? Already. Right? You're already applying this rule. Maybe theoretically we are talking about it today, but you already knew it. You were already following it. Because we study subconsciously. So we have already given you enough exposure that you guys get used to it. And that's why when some students, you know, at this level, leave A out, it really breaks my heart. Because after such a long exposure, one year long exposure, you are unable to get A right in the place, you know, that it just doesn't give me a lot of confidence about your learning skills, learning ability. Two. With some expressions of quantity, a pair of, a little, a couple of, a few. Uh, let's sleep for a couple of hours. We'll study later. A couple of hours. You know this, right? Yeah, I'm a little tired right now. I'll go, go, go out later. Hmm. Guys, are you familiar with rule number two already? Yes. Three. With some expressions of frequency, once a week. Twice a day, three times a day. Tell me that you were already using these phrases. Yes, sir. 
four in exclamations with what plus a countable noun. What a lovely day. What a beautiful flower. A flower. <laughs> I have this habit of saying flower as well. What a lovely day. What a match. What, what a match. Okay. What a match. A countable noun. Okay. So tell me that we we didn't learn this before. We did. And then definite articles now. The definite article is used. Okay. Before seas, rivers, hotels, pubs, theaters, museums, and newspapers. Rivers, seas, hotels, pubs, theaters, museums, and newspapers. Notice you have hotels, you have pubs, you have theaters, but you don't have restaurants here. Can you see that? Okay, the Atlantic is the ocean. Okay, the Atlantic Ocean, the Atlantic. The Times, a newspaper. The British Museum. The Ritz, a hotel. Okay, number two. The STC. No, Arish, is it written here? Institutes, you know, educational, educational institutes is mentioned here in rule number one? No. So before you make a mistake, just ask first the question. You always... The Burj Khalifa? Yes, absolutely. Burj Khalifa is a building. It's Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa. <laughs> the Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa. Okay. Uh, the, no, here, we, buildings are not written here, no? Do you see the buildings? Okay. No. What do you see? The Ganga. Just for, first of all, find examples of the, the names written here. The Ganga. The Pacific Ocean. The Nile. The Hindu. Yes. Paper. The Victoria Memorial. What is it? Victoria Memorial, sir. It is a museum, Donna? right? Yes, it's a museum. Mm. Exactly. Now, this rule is confusing. <laughs> if there is only one or something. If there is only the sun, the queen, the government, the moon. Let's not pay too much attention to this rule, okay? Because this will confuse you a lot of times. This rule can be understood by the explanation of this. Both the speaker and the listener know the thing or the idea already, okay? Just yeah. we will understand this with the help of this, okay? Uh, rule number three, with superlative adjectives, the biggest, the best, the worst, the strongest. He is the richest man in the world. Jane is the oldest in the class. So we use the with superlatives. And no article rules. I like potatoes. Plural and uncountable nouns. Plural and when talking about things in general, you did that in the elementary course. Uh, we have here, tomatoes are good for you, remember? Come on, Duncan, tomatoes are good for you. So tomatoes in general, tomatoes in general are good for you? Why don't they find somebody who has got a good voice? In Brahms, if there aren't any listeners who sing well, they should be given good time for singing stuff. Connect, disconnect. <laughs> Come on. Or if I do this at home, they will all abuse me. <laughs> if I yell. I, I feel this. Look, music wins your heart. Give me a second, guys. I'm saying something very private. You know, 
when you're doing any side sort of singing, if there is rhythm, it pleases you. You know, if I have heard people of Pranima, it makes you like, wow, what pleasant experience because of the rhythm they have. It's different than a voice and ability. Yeah. An ability, ability, singing ability. And the Come on. The most important thing is the ability. The most important thing is voice. Yeah. The second thing is. I agree, yes, but still, have... Kumar Sanu will sound Kumar Sanu, whether he sings on a cheap mobile or an expensive mobile. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> okay. Ah, yeah, I agree totally, totally. He is monotonous. This guy is monotonous. One tone, no modulation in the tone. Before plural and uncountable nouns, guys, remember, I like potatoes. So potatoes in general. Potatoes in? I like potatoes. I like potatoes. Tomatoes are good for you. So when you have plural nouns, okay, or uncountable nouns, milk is very healthy. Milk is? So very you healthy. do not need any articles when you're talking about them in general. General baat bolni hai. Okay? Ka dimaag badal jata hai. Okay? So a general baat bolni na? You're talking, you're talking about girls in general. You're not talking about girls in India or girls there. You're talking about girls in general. So girls are fickle. Girls change their mind very quickly. Girls, okay? Or I see uncountable noun. We have an example. Milk is good for you. <laughs> Milk is healthy. So this is a very important rule in English. That plural and uncountable nouns, when you talk about them in general, then you do not need any articles before them. So, if you want to say something about cats, okay? Selfish bolna hai cat. So, kaise bolenge? Cat is selfish ki cats are selfish. Cats are? Cats are selfish. You can count to plural mein bol do. Okay? Cats are selfish. And no article. Okay. If you say the cats, so, badal diya mamla. You and I both know kaun se cats. The cats. Okay, students respect their teachers. Students respect their teachers. And teachers should respect this fact that the students respect them. You know, students respect their teachers. And teachers should respect this fact that their students respect them. Okay, fine. Abhi batao mene in general baat ki students ke baare mein pehle. Students respect their teachers. Mene the students nahi ka. Students. Similarly, then I said and teachers and teachers should respect their students. Okay. Teachers should respect their students. For the fact, no, no. I'm saying teachers should respect the fact that their students respect them. Okay. Hmm. Don't take advantage of it that they respect you. Right. Don't take advantage of the fact that they respect you. You respect the fact that they respect you. Okay. Yeah. Um, otherwise, then they lose respect. If they start taking advantage of it, they lose respect very soon. It is true. Whether it is me or anybody, rules are the rules. They work for everybody. Okay. These are. Um, um, philosopher knew, but uh, some some things I have observed, you know, and of course I know because of my own observations. Anyways, uh, you know, philosophical, you know, because they have a lot of experiences. Yeah, 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 and they keep talking about them uh, in an encrypted way. <laughs> okay, so. This rule is important. I want you guys to appreciate this rule. G give me a few examples, please. Plural and uncountable nouns when talking about things in general, okay? You don't need any articles. Go ahead. Give me an example. The dogs are very loyal. Dogs are very loyal. Thank you. Papayas are full of vitamins. Come again? Papayas are full of vitamins. 
papayas are full of vitamins okay what are the other part two very good plastic bottles are not uh, good for storing water for a long time oh i i don't know whether it was true or false i read that they have found a solution you know and uh, the solution is not man made they have found some uh, organism in the at the bottom of the sea that are eating uh, this this organism is eating plastic okay so nature has found a way to take care of this plastic problem because man could not but uh, but my problem was in something else i told that uh, we should not store the water in plastic because sometimes the material of plastic uh, we take some less amount of plastic inside our body while drinking water mm -hmm. uh, but not very uh, high but high amount of material that can affect us yeah plastic bottles should not be used to store water right take a small piece i can have them any time because they're so so refreshing you know when i was a kid i never ate uh, you know cucumbers i only ate kakris and i thought kakris were taste here i didn't eat cucumbers perhaps they were expensive or i don't know why didn't eat cucumbers until i think i was 11 or 12 and then once i tasted cucumbers i never wanted to eat kakris <laughs> only when the kakris are very very you know thin you know then only tender they're very tender when they're thin only then you like them Mm. Cucum <clears throat> we can have a sentence about cucumbers cucumbers are green cucumbers are healthy mm. so when you are talking about plural nouns in general uncountable nouns in general don't need to use any articles any articles mm. a is and not possible anyway so yeah If you guys have any doubts, talk to me. Number two, guys, we don't use the before countries, towns, streets, languages, magazines, meals, airports, stations, mountains. countries india france england italy russia ukraine we don't use articles however every rule that you are reading <laughs> has exceptions in articles okay for example you will say the philippines for example you will say the uk you, you will say the us britain okay so towns normally towns don't have exceptions you just say Kashi put you know Bengaluru, Paris, London, streets, Queen's Street, Ramchandrapur Street, Bharatpur Street, whatever. Okay, languages, English, Hindi, French, Italian. No need to use the. I speak the Italian or I speak Italian. Okay, but if you put the word language after it, then you need the. if you only say i speak italian okay but if you put language then you need the i speak the italian language okay with the same ease <laughs> as i speak english <laughs> okay got it what's the point languages don't take articles but if you put the word language after them then you will have to use the the english language otherwise only english only english is fine english is a lovely language english is a lovely language magazines victoria's secret sorry 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 victoria station okay that is a magazine guys i think meals and it's a it's a magazine as well victoria secret is a magazine too i'm i'm not sure but it is such a big brand i know this thing 
that I'm pretty sure if they haven't got a magazine out with this name, then they are missing out. Okay, they should have one. <laughs> I think there is one already. Okay, Playboy, Suman Saurav, Bachon Ke Liye, okay? Matlab naam hi lena to alag alag naam lena padega na? Yes. Amar Chitra Katha Tha, sir. Ha, wo tumhare liye, Amar Chitra Katha hai, Arish. I used to read in the candles. <laughs> and jump up to. Meals, lunch, dinner, breakfast, brunch. We don't use articles before them. Airports, stations, mountains. Mountains. Okay. So, Mount Everest. No, no, no. We don't say the Mount Everest. Okay. Mount Everest. But when you say mountain series, then you say the Himalayas, the Andes, the Alps. When you have the plural, when you have the plural, the Himalayas. A series. It's a series. Okay. Not one mountain. When you talk about one mountain, okay then you don't use uh, the Mount Everest. <laughs> Come on, yeah. Mount Everest. Mount, uh, Mount Abu. Mount... <laughs> Iranya. Okay. <laughs> Next. Um, we have... I bought Cosmopolitan. I bought Cosmopolitan. It's a great magazine. I bought Cosmopolitan at Victoria Station. No articles needed. And then these are fixed expressions. Tell me that you have already learned them very well. At home, at school, at university, to school. I'm going to school, going to university, by car, by bus, by train, in bed, I'm in bed, I'm going to bed, I'm at work, I'm going to work, on foot. So you have already learned these fixed phrases. Exclamations. Sometimes you have exclamations with uncountable nouns. When you have a countable noun, you use a, what a pretty girl. What a lovely day. But when you have uncountable nouns, then you don't need them. What beautiful weather. What loud music. What cold water. Okay, so these are exclamations. You touch the water and you said, wow, what cold water. You opened the window and said, wow, what beautiful weather. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Go home. There is no article, no preposition. And I'll, I'll Sir, tell you view what. Is plural or singular? View. Views. Whatever. Views. View. Views. Views is plural oh. and singular is a view. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. And uh, go home. In this phrase, home is an adverb. Just like go there. Go there. There is an adverb. Similarly, go home. Okay. So home is an adverb. We do not need any articles. We do not need any prepositions here. Okay. Uh, tell me, what was the most important takeaway for you? The rule that we use the, the is used when the speaker uh, when, and the listener, and both, the listener both know knows. the thing that they're talking about. Okay. Now, some practice. Let's let's do exercise one. Complete the lines about the grandfather with the a and or the or no article. There are four options. Go ahead. Guys, it is Sunday. It is Wednesday today. So, yes, we'll have to wrap up now. And uh, we'll continue our class, this pre-intermediate class tomorrow, guys. And you do this and do one page in the practice book as well. Okay? 
the next page in the practice book. Shall I share it with you? Mm, give me a second. Sir, may yes. I say something? Sir, uh, dear, 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 I want you. I want you in my next class, Sunita. Okay. We are going to be there. If you're free right now, if you're free right now, join my class uh, at eight. And uh, and if you're not free, if you're not free, in case you're not free, we will have a conversation tomorrow in the morning. So I can join uh, this class, which is Please. going okay, to great, be conducted. Great then, great then. Yeah. I'm open. Um, uh, who else is coming? Sumit is coming. Rasana is coming, right? I do. You too? Maybe uh, you you are welcome, Maybe. Manisha. Manisha, you are welcome. But remember, this is not going to help you. Okay, uh, come come to the class. I welcome you there, but I don't think it will help you that much. Okay, okay. Please come, please come, and uh, yep, uh, I'm going to open the this is this intermediate class is two days a week, Monday, Sunday, and Wednesday. So I'm going to start and uh, I'm sharing homework for tomorrow, guys, for the pre-intermediate class. Fine. Let's meet uh, tomorrow. And Rukaya, where are you? Rukaya, I just want to tell you that I hope you have already erased your old answers. If you have been in the pre-intermediate class for, for unit four, five, four or five, I don't know when you joined. When did you join? From which unit? Uh, the last time? Six, seven. Seven. Okay. So, so fine. All right. So I'll, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow and uh, I'm going to start the batch. Manisha, you are welcome. Please come. Okay. Do not take, let, let my words uh, demoralize you. Sometimes I'm a very straightforward person and I don't think about emotions so much. I'm really sorry. So please join the class, okay? Uh, Tani, Tani is smiling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tani. I know you've been at the receiving end a few <laughs> times as well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.